Hey guys, welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim. So I have a Halloween tutorial for you today. Obviously it's this look here. I'm not into scary costumes. I'm more of like a, I don't know. I just like cute costumes and like stuff that's easy to do. I don't wanna like spend a lot of money on Halloween. I just wanna get out and go. Last year I was sadness. I'll insert a picture um, just so you can see uh, from inside out and that was really fun but thought I'd do something a little bit different and that's something that's like easy and accessible for everyone. The only twist that I kind of added was I just I used a hairband that was for a cat but instead of um, just putting it on like that I ended up just putting my hair around it so it's kind of like cute little cat hair buns which I kind of like so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up down below um, and if you would like to see more of my content just subscribe it's that easy um, and that's pretty much it for me we'll get right into it Hey guys, so we're gonna do the eye makeup first. I've done one eye um, pretty much in total. I just need to add lashes and um, mascara. So we're gonna do the other eye. I do have a little bit of liner left over on this eye. It's not an illusion, but I prepped and primed again. I actually just forgot, or my memory card was full and then I accidentally deleted the file. I'm just going in with my Smashbox um, Shape, yeah, Shape Matters palette. Just a neutral palette guys it's really simple just use whatever you have going in with a neutral brown shade just this light one here first and just going in all over the crease and just going in with this neutral darker brown here and just going in over top of where we just placed that color put in a little bit much there I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my bronzer from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I'm gonna go in with this um, it's like it's a medium shade. I'm um, just gonna go in and just blend the crease just a little bit. I used this palette, the CoverGirl True Naked Jewel um, palette, in my Kylie Jenner inspired look. I'm going in with the gold shade here, and I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just place that all over the lid. It's gonna be a base for our glitter, which is our Stila glitter, which I also reviewed on my channel recently. So I'm gonna do my liner in steps. The first part of my liner, I'm doing the outside wing. I'm doing it with my NYC City Proof eyeliner, which is waterproof, very cheap from the drugstore. Um, also did a video on it. So going in with the NYC first. This will be the outside liner. So we're gonna go in now and do the inner part of our eye with the uh, Wet n Wild Meg Liner. It's a matte, more matte shadow or eyeliner. So we're gonna do the bottom one first and I'm just gonna dot where I need to put it. And then I need to meet that there and I'm gonna do the other one to like here. Looks okay. And just to um, do the glitter now with that Stila Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. I reviewed it on my channel previously. Take a look if you haven't seen that. Um, so we're just gonna basically go over the gold shadow on the eyelid here. And then go in with a uh, brush right away. I'm going in just with like an angled brush to blend out the edges. We're also going to add it to the inner corner um, in between here. Awesome. We're going to clean up the edges and I'm going to put on lashes and do my bottom mascara and I will be right back. All right, so I just put on my eyelashes and I did some um, mascara underneath, but I did forget to put on my bottom um, eyeliner, or not eyeliner, my bottom eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with that brown, that like medium brown shade here um, that I used um, on the crease and just blending it on the underneath the eye here and just with the eyeliner that I've already kind of have left over from earlier. I'm just gonna add a little bit more uh, liner because it seems to have worn off a little bit right here. So now we're gonna be doing the rest of the face. It's not too um, intricate really in the rest of the face other than the mouth. I'm gonna go in and draw in the nose first. So basically we're just like covering our nose to make a little cat nose. Um, I'm gonna draw the top line first. Filling in the nose here. 
What are you guys' plans for Halloween? What are you guys up to? I don't think I'm actually doing anything for the actual, or like next weekend, which is kind of like our Halloween weekend. Um, our class has like a class party every year, um, but unfortunately I can't go because I'm working and they announced it like yesterday, so couldn't really book it off work. I should have known when it was gonna be, but I just didn't, I'm not that good of a planner. I'm more of a procrastinator type of person. And I'm not like super amped for Halloween. I'd rather do like these makeup looks than actually like go and party or do whatever. So, um, yeah, pretty much chill and eat some candy. I'm gonna put some concealer on our mouth to like make it pop. I'm taking some of my Glamifage concealer by Hard Candy. It's not really one of my favorite concealers for under the eye. I use it for eyeshadow and like whatever else I need it for because it's not like, it's a little just too thick and drying. So I don't use it for the eye or under the eye. Um, I use it for eyeshadow looks. I'm gonna be putting it on my upper lip here. I'm gonna go in and um, put the lipstick on my bottom lip here. Um, so I'm using a brown nudie shade. It's the Stila um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sogno. Don't ask me about the shade names. I don't know where they got them from, but anyway, I'm just gonna be putting it on the bottom uh, lip here. It is um, a liquid lipstick, but it does dry down very matte and it's very non-transferable, so that's why I'm putting it here. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with our liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild, the Mega Liner, and I'm gonna draw a line here. So just straight down to here. And then we're gonna go in, and while that bottom lip is still drying, we're gonna go in and uh, dot um, some whiskers just with uh, this um, eyeliner pencil. It's pretty dull, but that's okay because it kind of makes like circles when I tap it. And then to darken these spots, I'm just gonna go in uh, with my liquid liner over top of them to darken them. All right, so we're just gonna dot them. So I'm going in with the liquid Wet n Wild now and just drawing in some whiskers. I'm gonna go in and contour my nose a little bit more uh, just with my tried and true Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. And last but not least, I think our liquid lip is dry, so we're gonna go in uh, with this Smashbox gel liner and we're gonna line our lips basically like we're putting on lipstick um, to make our top look black. Okay, so that's pretty much our look. I can't really put my lips together. Um, that's the finished um, makeup look. I'm gonna go in and do my hair really, really fast. So I've dry shampooed my hair. It's just, um, yeah, it's just, it's just like what it is right now. Okay, basically I have a cat headband. Obviously I could just wear this, but that's not what I'm doing today. I'm going to do a little bit of a different look so that if you didn't have a like this exact hairband or if you like, I don't know, you just maybe don't like the hairband that you got. Like there's, it's easy to get like a really cheap um, hairband. Like this one does have jewels in it, but it's just from Claire's, it's nothing special. But I don't really like, like it's cute. I could wear it like this, but I don't really want to. Just took out two um, pieces of hair here and pulled them forward and then kind of put the hairband in there. And then I'm just gonna tease my hair just slightly and it is like not like freshly washed hair or like um, whatnot. So it makes it a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm just gonna be wrapping this basically around this ear. And I'm just leaving a little bit of hair out and then I'm just gonna pin it back. Putting that there and then you have to pin down the ear as well because otherwise it will pop out into like a little horn which it's kind of already wanting to do but if you take the hair and kind of like pull it back slanted and then push the take the pin and push it through from the back 
then it kind of just stays there. Okay, so that's one side done there, guys. And then I'm just gonna do this other side. And that's pretty much the look, but I'm just gonna tease underneath slightly. I'm not even hairspraying really right now because I'm like gonna go to sleep anyway, but you could totally just add some hairspray, some dry shampoo. There you have it, guys. You have like your own little um, cat ears that are like your own hair. It kind of looks cool too if you have like an ombre or like different um, colored ends. Mine are a little bit lighter brown, so I don't know if you can see, but it looks a little bit different. So that's my finished cat look here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ask me down below. If you want to follow me on social media, I'll put my handles up here and then the links will be down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're going to have an awesome Halloween if you um, are looking for a last minute idea that's super quick and easy and kind of uses what you already have. This is it. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to like it down below, I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can see more of my content. Thanks again for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope wherever you are, that you're having a wonderful day.